I'm Scott Barry Kaufman, host of the Psychology Podcast. I'm a cognitive scientist, and I've written 10 books and hundreds of articles on topics such as intelligence, introversion, and education. The Psychology Podcast is a place where we investigate the different ways in which we can unlock human potential, and where I get to interview some of the most extraordinary and fascinating people, and we have real conversations about what it means to achieve success and what it means to be human. Listen to the Psychology Podcast on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, this is Justin Richmond, host of the Broken Record Podcast. Join me along with co-host Leah Rose as we sit down with the artists you love to get unparalleled creative insight. You'll hear revealing interviews with some of the most legendary figures in music like Paul Simon, Usher, Pete Townsend, Damon Albarn of the Gorillas, and Missy Elliott. And you'll hear from up-and-comers like jazz artist Leve, who told me about her fast rise to fame during the pandemic. Listen to Broken Record on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey there, I'm Maya Shunker, and I'm a scientist who studies human behavior. Many of us have experienced a moment in our lives that changes everything, a moment that instantly divides our life into a before and an after. On my podcast, A Slight Change of Plans, I talk to people about how they've navigated exactly these moments. Because as we all know, the only constant is change. So let's make the most of it. Listen to A Slight Change of Plans on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Jacob Goldstein. I used to host Planet Money. Now I'm starting a new show. It's called What's Your Problem? Every week on What's Your Problem, entrepreneurs and engineers describe the future they're going to build once they solve a few problems. I'm talking to people trying to figure out how to do things that no one on the planet knows how to do, from creating a drone delivery business to building a car that can truly drive itself. Listen to What's Your Problem on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. It is time now for today's Strawberry Letter. And if you need advice on relationships, work, sex, parenting, and more, please submit your Strawberry Letter to steveharveyfm.com and click Submit Strawberry Letter. We could be reading your letter live on the air, just like we're going to read this one right here, right now. And you never know, it could be yours. It could be yours. Buckle up and hold on tight. We got it for you. Here it is. Strawberry Letter. Thank you, nephew. Subject... He wants to talk to my ex. Dear Stephen Shirley, I was married for four short years and my ex-husband and I are still really good friends, um, but we can't seem to get along well enough to live together. I moved to a nearby city to start over so I wouldn't have to run into him all the time. As soon as I moved and got a job transfer, I started dating a guy at work. I have been seeing him for a little over a year and we have a lot in common except sex drive. So a few days ago, I drove back to my old stomping grounds to finalize my divorce. Then my ex-husband and I ended up having sex in the parking lot of the courthouse. He followed me home over an hour away, and we got busy all night. It really felt good to be back in his arms. But I keep getting phone. But I kept getting phone calls and texts from my boyfriend, and his text said um, he was worried about me. I managed to text him back. I managed to text him back and tell him I wasn't feeling good and I was in bed. The next morning, I did not go to work, so my boyfriend came by to see if I needed anything. I had to tell him uh, I had COVID, so he wouldn't stay. He knew that I had gone to deal with my ex uh uh-huh, and my divorce, so he suggested I call my ex to let him know that I have COVID so he could go and get tested. Uh, He said I need to do the right thing, and if if I don't tell my ex, he will. He knows he can call my ex at his barbershop. He's threatened to do it before, and I told him if he calls my ex-husband, I'm breaking up with him. That made him think that I have something to hide, and I do. My ex-husband will be completely honest about everything if my boyfriend calls him. I love my boyfriend, but is he the wrong man for me if he can't trust me enough to believe what I tell him? What? (laughs) Trust you? Why should he trust you? You did everything to make not only him, your boyfriend, but any man not trust you. I mean, what was your man supposed to think? You said you moved away from your ex so you could stop running into him. Uh, Then as soon as you see him, you sleep with him. He drove an hour to sleep with you. You didn't answer your boyfriend's calls or his text messages. You didn't show up for work the next day. 
And you're obviously not such a good liar because he's itching to call your ex to find out what happened, period. That's why he's going to call him. It's not because he's such a nice guy that he wants your ex uh, uh, <laughs> to know that you have COVID and he needs to get checked. That's not why he's doing it. Your boyfriend wants answers, not the lies you told him. It's not that he's the wrong man for you. You're the wrong woman for him. You can't be trusted. If he had done this to you, you would have really broken up with him and not just threatened to do it with him. Okay? You would have broken up with him. Come on, birthday boy. Steve? Okay. All right, I got it. Okay. All right, here we go. Now, let me explain something to y'all. First of all, this letter is a complete and utter mess. I don't know why y'all write us with this type of stuff and expect us to have an answer for a whole lot of wrong. Now, you want to make a right out of all this. So many wrongs in here. You know, you was married four short years ago. What is short years? All of them is 365 days. So, you know, let's, you're lying. I was married for four short years. No, 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 no. Four years, same length, everybody. Okay. But my ex-husband and I are still really good friends. Uh, nah, that's, yeah, that, that's kind of troubling to me also. I think it's another lie. I moved to a nearby city so I could stop running into him all the time. Now, come to find out later on in the letter that her husband is a barber. How you keep running into a barber at a barber shop all the time is a miracle to me because they usually work in one place. Now, if you quit taking your ass down there to the barbershop, you can probably quit running into it. Hard to cut hair and be down at Target at the same time. Hard to cut hair and be at the pool hall at the same time. Your ex-husband cut hair and you run into him all the time. How the uh-huh. hell that happened when most barbers is in the barbershop? Mm-hmm. Asked to start out, man. So when you moved out of nearby town so you quit running up into him, you started dating a guy at work. And you all have an amazing everything except everything y'all have in common except sex drive. So a few days ago, you drove back to your old stomping ground. That's the city you moved from to finalize your divorce. Well, you and your ex-husband and I ended up, y'all had sex in the parking lot of the courthouse. Well, how this, this mm. what kind of divorce was this? <laughs> What? <laughs> I've been to court two times for this here. Mm-hmm. Okay. I saw my ex in the parking lot. Okay. <laughs> Careful. She was shooting at me. <laughs> so, so much for us making love in the car. It's hard to do that if somebody had open fire on you from so the yeah, Good thing she couldn't shoot. <laughs> anyway, y'all ended up having sex in the parking lot at the courthouse. Then he followed you home over an hour away. This is the new city you moved to. And y'all got busy all night long. It felt good to be back in his arms. But I kept getting phone calls and texts from my boyfriend. Mm. He just texted, hit 800 missed calls, 62 voice messages, 38 texts. Hang on, Steve. When we come back, I'll tell you what she said she did. Okay. (laughs) We've got part two of Steve's response coming up at 23 minutes after the hour. Subject for today's Strawberry Letter, he wants to talk to my ex. We'll get back into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. This is exclusive. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up Yeah, yeah, what's good, y'all? It's the realest storyteller ever, Fat Joe Check out my tell-all memoir The Book of Jose The audio book is legendary Available wherever audio books are sold Check out this exclusive clip from The Book of Jose But loyalty is at the core of TS People have wondered how I got all these characters to gel into one unit I think the key is that I treat every individual as special, but our shared dream was always about our unity. All for one and one for all. That's what it is. Terror Squad, as it's constituted today, is one large family. Everyone plays a part based on their own passions and expertise, but we share a collective goal to elevate our community. 
It's Kate and Oliver Hudson. Hudson. <laughs> Host of the new podcast. Well, it's not, it's not new, new, but we are at iHeart. We're at iHeart Radio. Now. But it's called Sibling, Sibling Revelry. Sibling Revelry. That's right. We started this show because we just wanted to hang out together. We decided yeah. a couple of years back. You know what? Let's just, no one talks about siblings and that dynamic. The siblings, they know each other better than anybody. Yes. You know, a lot yes. of the time. And I, and we get inspired by other siblings. I think other siblings make us want to be better siblings. 100%. You know how many times percent. shows that we have done and I, where I I'm, love, like, I'm like, I wish we like, were like that. I'm like, not a great I know. I'm sister. like, I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I hope you love our show. We love doing it. Listen to Sibling Revelry on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. In the new Amy and TJ podcast, Amy Robach and TJ Holmes, a renowned broadcasting team with decades of experience delivering headline news and captivating viewers nationwide, are sharing their voices and perspectives in a way you've never heard before. They explore meaningful conversations about current events, pop culture, and everything in between. Nothing is off limits. This was a scandal that wasn't. Yeah. And this was not what you've been sold. The Amy and TJ podcast is guaranteed to be informative, entertaining, and above all, authentic. It marks the first time Robach and Holmes speak publicly since their own names became a part of the headlines. This is the first time that we actually get to say what happened <laughs> and where we are today. Listen to the Amy and TJ podcast on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. You take my breath away. I spent the last 15 years of my life fighting like hell to make sure that I never ended up here. But then I met her. The name's Anna. Hey, Anna. I'm Nico. Didn't realize you were a professional musician. From Interval Presents, a new romantic thriller podcast starring Jason Derulo and Alexandra Ship. There's something about you that I haven't been able to look away from. Nico, we don't even know each other. There's no turning back if we do this. I've already made my decision. This is what happens when you don't follow orders, Nicholas. No! Listen to Underwater on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. All right, come on, Steve. Let's recap today's Strawberry Letter. The subject is, he wants to talk to my ex. Okay, this lady in the letter, let's just come to this term, is a liar. So, <laughs> a little liar that wrote this letter. She Damn. was married for four short years. Each year is all. 365 days and unless you have a leap year and you miss a day or something I don't know how she thought one of them was shorter than the other. Leap year ass. These long ass years though they same damn time anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, then her and her ex-husband they still really good friends and uh, she moved out of town so she could quit running into him come to find out he's a barber so I don't know how she running up into him a lot but she moved out of town she started working she started dating a the guy they got a lot in common except for sex drive so she went back to her old town to finalize her divorce. Her and her ex husband he ended up having sex in the parking lot of the courthouse what an amazing divorce this was and mm -hmm. then he followed her home back to the city she had moved to to get away from him she led him back to her bedroom and one hour away they got busy all night long and it felt so good for her to be back in his arms again but she said she kept getting phone calls and texts from her boyfriend and his text said he was worried about me yeah cause you ain't returning none of his calls and phone call. Then she said, I managed to text him back. See, now when a person manages to text him back, mm -hmm. that means the barber finally let go. Mm -hmm. That barber was in there. She said they was busy all <laughs> night. That boy was up in there handling, flipping, mm -hmm. tossing. Holding, pressing, stretching. You couldn't get no water or nothing when you finally got a chance. 
You look up, you managed to text him back and told him you wasn't feeling good and was in bed. Nah, I ain't all that's true. That's the only truth you wrote in the letter. <laughs> the next morning, I didn't go to work. Well, hell, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> so my boyfriend came to see if I needed anything. I had to tell him I had COVID so he wouldn't stay. Now, you talking through the door. Don't come in here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, COVID. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> she had a mask. Yeah, that was good, but that was a lie. Yeah. She was just beat up by she was she was barbershop beat. That's all that was. That wasn't COVID. <laughs> That's barbershop beat. That's man and there was some heavy clippers. Mm. So then uh he knew that I had gone to deal with my ex and my divorce. So he suggested that I call my ex to let him know that I have COVID so he could go get tested. What? Why she got to call her ex, tell her ex to go get tested? They was in the courthouse. Ain't she got to call everybody down at the courthouse? Mm-hmm. Why don't she just call the whole courthouse and tell the whole courthouse, hey, I got COVID. Y'all need to go down and get tested. Who? Why are you so damn concerned about the ex anyway, dog? Mm-hmm. Go down there and make sure to let him get tested. He said, I need to do the right thing. And if I don't tell my ex, he will. What? Mm-hmm. He knows he can call my ex at the barber shop. He's threatened to do it before. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What you mean he's threatened to do it before? Now, that's the part of the line I don't understand. If you, I'm fitting to call your boyfriend at the barber shop because of what? What is it that you do that makes him want to tell on you? <laughs> See, what kind of relationship y'all got? Mm-hmm. This dude right here, if you do it again, I'm going to call your ex. What? You know somebody never said in my life? <laughs> yeah, somebody never thought in my life. Right. I don't, I don't even know how to, what, I, that line threw me off. Mm-hmm. He can call my ex at the barbershop. He's threatened to do it before. If you don't, if you don't, I'm going to ask him about you. Well, what? Mm-hmm. Anyway, I told him if he calls my ex-boyfriend, I'm breaking up with him. That made him think I have something to hide, and I do. Lady, you got to stop lying, because this ain't what you do. She's not a good liar, is she? You should have said call him. I don't care. And when you call him, watch what happened. It'll be your last call about me. Because I wish you would call another man to check on me. What kind of man are you? That's what you should have did. That's what you should have said. But no, you letting him use your boyfriend to threaten you. And it made him think I have something to hide and I do. My ex-husband will be completely honest about everything. Who they dudes you dating? (laughs) <laughs> your ex-husband will be completely honest about everything what <laughs> what kind of dude is this mm-hmm. what where you meet these men at you said <laughs> and my ex-husband will be completely honest about everything where this dude at <laughs> <laughs> Where you meet these two honest men that they care for each other's health and welfare? You better call him and tell him to get tested because if you don't, I will. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lady, you pick bad men right here. You stupid. If my boyfriend <laughs> right. calls him, I love my boyfriend, but is he the wrong man for me and he can't trust me enough to believe what I'm telling him? What? Hell, you lied. All right, leave your comments on I ain't got no today. help for you. I don't care what happened. Strawberry Letter on Instagram at Steve Harvey FM and check out the Strawberry Letter podcast on the free iHeartRadio app coming up next. It is Junior and Sports Talk right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hey there, I'm Maya Shunker, and I'm a scientist who studies human behavior. Many of us have experienced a moment in our lives that changes everything, a moment that instantly divides our life into a before and an after. On my podcast, A Slight Change of Plans, I talk to people about how they've navigated exactly these moments. Because as we all know, the only constant is change. So let's make the most of it. Listen to A Slight Change of Plans on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Jacob Goldstein. I used to host Planet Money. Now I'm starting a new show. It's called What's Your Problem? Every week on What's Your Problem, entrepreneurs and engineers describe the future they're going to build. Once they solve a few problems, I'm talking to people trying to figure out how to do things that no one on the planet knows how to do. 
from creating a drone delivery business to building a car that can truly drive itself. Listen to What's Your Problem on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Scott Barry Kaufman, host of The Psychology Podcast. I'm a cognitive scientist, and I've written 10 books and hundreds of articles on topics such as intelligence, introversion, and education. The Psychology Podcast is a place where we investigate the different ways in which we can unlock human potential and where I get to interview some of the most extraordinary and fascinating people. And we have real conversations about what it means to achieve success and what it means to be human. Listen to The Psychology Podcast on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, this is Justin Richmond, host of the Broken Record Podcast. Join me along with co-host Leah Rose as we sit down with the artists you love to get unparalleled creative insight. You'll hear revealing interviews with some of the most legendary figures in music like Paul Simon, Usher, Pete Townsend, Damon Albarn of the Gorillas, and Missy Elliott. And you'll hear from up-and-comers like jazz artist Leve, who told me about her fast rise to fame during the pandemic. Listen to Broken Record on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Makin banyak Makin banyak 